to stay seated for me as the tram is in motion and it might be a little breezy as we come around the first corner so just hold on to any hats or any loose items otherwise i'll be sharing my other side of the tram they're called a manila palm because they're from the philippines but they're also called a christmas palm because as you can see the seeds start out green and turn a red color especially in the winter time the seeds are not edible which is common for most palm trees in this case, the birds will eat the outer red skin, and in parts of the world, they'll chew on it. It's very common for palm trees to not have edible seeds, so one of the exceptions to that rule would be a coconut palm. So coming up around the corner on the left hand, but have larger coconuts. And of course, the coconuts are an edible seed. Now we're going to talk a whole lot later about the coconut. Pineapple. The Hawaiian name for pineapple is hala kahiki, but despite having a Hawaiian name and being heavily associated with Hawaii, taller plantations around the island today. You can see this field here on the right is just about two years old, so you'll see the small pineapples just coming up from the center of each plant. It does take us about two years to grow one, so if you wanted to grow your own it, and they say you can use the skin of a papaya to relieve a bee sting or a jellyfish sting. Fortunately, I have not had to try that yet. And then if you and a couple of, well, one wild was a wild goat. Powers were introduced in the late 1700s as a gift from Captain George Vancouver to King Kamehameha. And it was such a highly prized gift that a ban was put on killing them for almost 50 years. But as you can imagine, left to run wild, they became a little dangerous and needed to manage here in Hawaii. Actually a little longer than pineapple. And like I said, these are Texas Longhorns, so these are three females. The females, a little black goat in the very back, but split these, she was a wild goat she was found wandering the plantation right before the pandemic but as you can see she is definitely a part of the ohana now part of the family so these guys are very helpful with any of the unsellable produce and any of the extra green waste one of our favorites is actually the manila palm leaves Hawaiians arrived they use those soft filaments for bandages and later for stuffing pillows and mattresses so a native plant or animal would have made it here on its own and then you'll hear about hawaiian or canoe plants on the left hand side, there are some baby banana plants. Um, they will grow taller, but this particular type is called a uh, banana, sorry, apple banana or a dwarf banana. So the bananas will stay small, but will be a little sweeter. Uh, but these are some very young plants. I'll show you some a little bit further along that are a little bit bigger and have their bananas on them. And then you'll start to see some tropical flowers on either side of the trap. The same kind of ginger you would eat. It is an ornamental ginger, but if you rub the petals together of the red ginger, some people swear it smells exactly like Fruit Loops. You guys can try that after the coconut husking and see if you agree. And then on the right hand side by the canoe, there's a jack pineapple and banana all rolled into one. And they say the inspiration for juicy fruit gum. We will be coming to a stop here for the coconut husking demonstration.